now another potential local casualty of the partial government shutdown. We've learned that Toys for Tots may be affected. Right now, there are dueling plans to reopen the government and head off a default. But if they're not improved in time, the Marines may not be able to attend this weekend's toy run that kicks off the campaign to collect holiday gifts for less fortunate families. From the Providence Bubble Newsroom, Eyewitness News reporter Jackie Slater is in the capital city. Right now, this is just a big empty parking lot, but come Sunday, October 20th, it will be packed with thousands of people here to kick off the Toys for Tots campaign. But if the government can't get it together, a key part of that celebration might be missing. This year marks the 35th anniversary of the largest toy run in New England. Hundreds of motorcycles will take to the streets of Rhode Island, riding to make the holidays a little brighter for kids in need. As people come in with the toy, their toy donations, which is, is the entrance fee is one toy, uh, unwrapped toy, uh, the Marines collect them up and load them into trucks. This year, the run is sponsored by the Leatherneck Motorcycle Club. They expect a huge turnout, lots of toys, but the government shutdown means no Marines at the event and the trucks are staying behind closed gates. In a letter sent to organizers, Marine Corps Master Sergeant Christopher Zabo said, community relations events are not authorized during the shutdown. No Toys for Tots events and no color guards. In the event that they don't show up, we'll take their place and we'll collect up the toys and we have our own vehicles. The Marines say while they can't be at the events, they'll still be collecting donations at their headquarters. Master Sergeant Zabo released the following statement. We are doing everything we possibly can to make sure the children get toys. Now this is where the toy run ends. It's 498 Kinsley Avenue in Providence. Even if you don't have a bike and you can't participate in the ride, you can come down here and donate a toy. With the Mobile Newsroom, Jackie Slater, Eyewitness News.